Hello everyone, this is Tomek. I thought I'd just give you a small update on uh, what I'm working on. Um, it's going to be a very quick little thing. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to simulate uh, how uh, life would behave on uh, Odin's beautiful uh, new map for Epic. Um, so what I did is I threw in uh, his map as a height map in Blender. And uh, I used some basic maps to simulate where the flora goes on this map. So I'm just render it uh, so you can see for yourself. So basically, uh, right now, uh, what I did was I used a software called Wilder to simulate where the water would flow. Basically, where the rivers are, where the water would collect, and so on, uh, on uh, the height map. Um, I used a map called Soil Quality, which is just a random noise map at the moment. Uh, we might get more advanced in that department. Um, I also did a simulation render of the of the where uh, sun uh, hits on the map, so what areas get more sun, what areas get less sun. Uh, for example, maybe some plant types, plant types like sun, while others don't like sun, and so on. I also have the raw elevation map here, where you can see uh, the, temp uh, the height of different areas. So the first thing I did was to combine the height uh, and where the sun hits into one map, as is known over here. Here you can see the temperature uh, estimation of different uh, areas of the map. I can control also the brightness and contrast of this if I want, but I'll leave it like this for now. So the black areas are cold areas, because they're either high or in shallow. Uh, and the brighter areas, they are warm areas, because they get both. Uh, they are low in the terrain, and the sun hits them. Um, I also did a combination where I com combined the temperature together with the water availability and the soil uh, quality uh, over here to stimulate um, where there are good conditions for stuff to grow in this map looks like this. The whiter areas are more uh, areas where plants are more likely to grow. It will likely be used in the end as a multiplier, perhaps for tree height or uh, density uh, of the different biomes that you'll use these maps to paint uh, automatically. Um, then I went on and I figured that we need uh, grass. So I started with the simplest. Um, this is uh, where the grass likes to grow. Uh, and here I can go in and set, uh, for example, how high grass likes to grow. I can limit it to just the low areas, but I do think grass kind of grows almost everywhere. So I'm going to leave this kind of high now. Um, temperature range uh, is what tem temperatures grass enjoy. Uh, where now it's uh, negative here, so I can say that grass doesn't like to live that close to the in the hottest areas. But actually, I think grass will like it there. There's also a water range that says how much water, uh, how much they like or dislike water. I leave it uh, at a reasonable level for now. Um, I also did tree simulation similarly, where I control the tree limits, how high up trees grow. Um, how low they grow, what temperature range trees like, and also how much water they like. They don't like too much water, and they don't like too little water. So all together, um, you have... Um, um, yes, let me go through the different grasses. Also. I have different grasses. So I have uh, all grass, I have, uh, which is this map. I have dry grass, which enjoys uh, near the... where there's not so much water and high up. I have swamp grass, which is grass, probably kind of long grass, but likes it around rivers and in warm areas where there's water. And I have just normal green grass. Uh, like this. In the engine, this will probably be biomes that are more mixed uh, than, than what you can see here. Um, and the forest, of course, they, they need a different forest uh, covering on the ground, so they will have their own grass. Um, all together, let's take a look at all the grasses. I combine them into an RGB so you can see in color uh, how the grass will be distributed. It's abstracted from the forest. So it will not be normal grass where the forest is. There will be forest floor and different forest biomes. Uh, right now, uh, this is not uh, finished. This uh, little kind of script I'm doing is more like a tinkering project. But the goal is to uh, arrive with a, with a simple to use project where uh, map creators can just put in uh, the basic uh, water maps, soil quality maps, sunlight and elevation maps, and uh, 
from very, very simple maps, we can generate very complex and interesting flora maps that will again be used to paint the biomes that you will experience in game. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, just wanted to show you guys what I'm tinkering with. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for this, watching this little update. See you around. Bye bye.